For the first time in three decades, Pete Carell is no longer a college basketball coach. And after his retirement announcement in Princeton's NCAA tournament upset of UCLA, is the man who usually avoids the spotlight flattered by those around the nation who recognized him one last time as the genius of Jadwin? Well, you know, I guess you'd have to be a little bit, but flattery is uh, very fleeting, you know. And uh, I've never put too much stock in it. As a matter of fact, anytime somebody says something good about me, I check both of my pockets, all right, or I start running. Because right? I often said, I don't know, I've heard it somewhere, it's not my statement, that flattery is the cheapest form of reward. You can always find somebody to tell you that you're doing something good. The slow down offense, great team defense, and throwing many a scare into a national powerhouse. That's some of what Carrill has given to basketball. And as he looks back now, what is the game given to him? That you walk out on this floor and what are you ready to do? What you know, how are you gonna approach things? Are you gonna work hard? Is it gonna mean something to you? A hundred little things that crop up there. That's what I'm going to take back. I mean, I'm not think too much about it, really. Because you can't deal with the past. You can't, you can't think like that. Because it affects what you're doing on a daily basis. You've got to find each day something that, you, that you're going to go to to keep yourself happy. Because if you live with your memory, you, you die. Die early. Well, Pete Carell's Princeton days may be over, but his coaching career, that's another matter. You see, Carell says he'd like to become an assistant in the NBA. And just what does he think the reaction would be to his old-fashioned approach from those millionaire stars in the pros? You hope that he's receptive. You hope that you're successful. And the end result is that you feel useful and that you've helped somebody. And if those conditions are met, then you're going to be happy. Right, And the more of those occasions that arise where you can help somebody uh, are, are successful, then the happier you're going to be. Over the past week, Carell has received over 100 interview requests from the media, fulfilling very few. He would have been Jay Leno's guest on The Tonight Show this week, but he rejected their invitation. I don't belong in a, in a scene like that, a scenario like that. It's not becoming to me, and I don't believe I belong. Again, going to where you think you belong, and that doesn't satisfy my criteria of where I belong. Carell seems headed for the NBA's Sacramento Kings, where one of his former Tiger greats, Jeff Petrie, is the general manager. But this no-frills teacher of the game says, just give him some basketball students, whether or not it's the pros. I might have to go to a, uh, some high school and say, go into the coach, and he knows who I am, and say, Joe, uh, you got a ninth grade coach? And, uh, you know, well, listen, I'll help you. You mind if I help you out with those guys? Good. What do you want me to do? And, again, as you see, as you see yourself being helpful and useful, you're, you're going to be happy. So while one Kirill career is over, Another is just beginning. In Princeton, Joey Waller, WZBN Sports.